Yellow Prakadar Subra was a pioneering Indian biochemist. He made some fantastic discoveries which affect all our lives today and contributed incredibly important work to the field of cancer treatment. However, he has been largely forgotten by history. So why is this legacy a mystery to so many of us? Dr. Subra was born on the 12th January 1895 in Bhubavaram, India. He studied at Madras Medical College, but displeased his professor when he began to wear Cardi surgery dress, following Gandhi's call to boycott British goods. Instead, he started lecturing at an Ayurvedic college, that he was fascinated by and began researching Ayurvedic medicines. He emigrated to Boston on the 26th of October 1922. In America, Dr. Subra graduated from Harvard Medical School and joined the faculty. Here, his scientific research developed and he made some wonderful discoveries, including the role of ATP in muscular activity. You may already know about ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate. It is an organic compound which provides our cells with energy to carry out their functions, such as muscle contraction and chemical synthesis. It is found in all known forms of life and is extremely important. The human body recycles its own body weight in ATP each day. Dr. Subra earned his PhD degree that same year and joined Leila Lay Laboratories, where he continued his influential work, developing methods to synthesize folic acid and creating the anti-cancer drug methotrexate. Methotrexate was one of the first chemotherapy drugs to be discovered and is still used today to treat millions of cancer patients, saving countless lives. Despite all of Dr. Subra's contributions to science, very few people have heard of him. This is mostly because of a former contemporary of his, Cyrus H. Fisk. Out of jealousy, Fisk destroyed much of Subra's important work. One of his colleagues, George Hitchings, even admitted that some of the nucleotides isolated by Subra had to be rediscovered years later by other workers due to Fisk's unforgivable actions. Dr. Subra died from cardiac arrest on the 8th of August 1948, ages 53. Since then, a fungus genus has been named Subramyces aquatica in his honour, showing that there is no doubt that he is a hero of science, thanks to his pioneering discoveries. But sadly, thanks to his jealous colleague, Yellow Pragada Subra is definitely an unsung hero of science.